Hi guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Camilla, also known as Sentain, and today we are watching Masters of the Air episode 2. I'm so excited to dive into this again because, as you guys know, I've been bedridden, I have had my dental surgery, I'm not 100% yet, still in a lot of pain, but medication, my best friend. <laughs> we'll see how this is going to go. I hope that I will feel not very bad while watching this but i really want to watch it and i've been so excited to continue on but now i'm scared because people have been telling me camilla you are going to get your heart broken well obviously we are i'm so excited to continue on learning about their journey learning about their history and seeing what will happen if you want to watch my full reaction to the episode two and three totally join our patreon where we also have our patreon pulse giveaways early access videos full reactions and so 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 on totally join us over there my social media link down below let's get on with masters of the air oh yeah we're going straight for the interrogation now thank you thank you you weren't even there. There for blinking hands and he saw four shoots, but I didn't see any. That point, I saw muzzle flashes, sunburst. Son, I'm gonna show the major your wounds. Oh. Hang in there, bosser. We're gonna send you to Redgrave Hospital. Get you all fixed up. Can't wait to get back in the fight, sir. Good man. Poor guy. These sorts of casualties are unnecessary losses for the group. Not to mention, we just lost another CO. Oh. Christ, what kind of idiot am I? It's, it's freezing cold and I gotta grab the gum with my bare hands. And that icebox could have been worse. Oh, yeah. Bucky and I kind of thought we should have some drinks with a few of the boys. You want to come? Oh, thank you, Kurt. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay in the night. You tell the others for me? Of course. Okay. Here's to Adams, Small and Buck, Petro, and all their brave men. Uh oh. Be careful. You good? No. Oh. Yeah, I miss those guys. Because me, I don't, I don't feel a thing. Can you do me a favor? What? Why don't you hit me? What? Why don't you land one right on my beak? Right here. Major? I don't give me major. I don't want major. Ranks off. Why do you want to fight? Oh, we don't have the time. Stop. You're from New York, right? So hit. <laughs> I felt that good. <laughs> okay. Oh. Meatball. Where is Meatball? I gotta meet that goddamn new CO. First thing tomorrow. Day is tomorrow. You hung over, Major? No, sir. He's not even a little bit sober. Wow. <laughs> it's because he's not sober yet. <laughs> Colonel Hugland didn't think much of your skills as an air well, I didn't think too much. Too much of his flying. Drama. Well, I ain't Colonel Hugland. No, you're not. I need some coffee. Yes, sir. Thanks. You going to the air or? Okay. Well, I got demoted. What? CEO of the 418 Squadron. Sorry, Jack. The boys are back with me again. As long as I get my fourth back. Yeah. Hardin wants to see about that. But I'm Eric, sir. Hugman recommended you. Yeah, both sons of. <laughs> well, no one wants to be that. All I said was your honor's right about you being a leader. But you're the best as a squadron commander. I've got so many flowers. I made one last request before being demoted. I want to write the letters to the families of the boys that we lost. That is so nice. If this whole thing ended and there were only two pilots left up in the air, it'd be me and it'd be you, Rob. Don't count on it. Don't say this because that means some of you are going to die. <gasps> oh, what do we both do? No, they can't do that. Every man who flew a B-17 thanked God for our ground crews. There was no glory in what they did. No medals were handed out for patching flak holes or rebuilding carburetors. <laughs> which meant they were responsible for the lives of dozens of men. Corporal Ken Lemons was one of our best crew chiefs. He was 19 years old. What? Fire. Fire. What? Fire. Could use some help. Yes, please. A practice mission, he went into his turn too early, too slow. Barnhill. That's six forts in less than three weeks. We're still waiting on replacement forts from Pottington. I'm hoping we get one or two. I'll be up next week. 
Turner, if a mission order comes in tonight, some of your crew are going to have to fly with the 349th. Yes, sir. Moxie on this guy. Come on, babe. The blonde guy there? I feel like I've seen him before, but I don't know from where. So, Ifo, you got to have the worst luck I've ever seen, Quinn. Ooh. Well, entice me. Yeah, you better. Oh. We go down. We all go down. Come on, light up. Uh-oh. Don't say that. Ooh. Alice or Palace? Alice is our Dave. Hey. Dave! Hey. Tommy, Tommy. Major. Well, wow. Um, Imagine that the people fixing the plane is 19. Imagine how young they are when they're actually up in the air. Because they used to be so young. And why the hell do you Brits add an S on the end of math? Because there's more than one of them. There's more than one. I can see more than one of you, too. Pretty sure I can knock all of you out. Yo! How about a song? I heard you sing, Major. Oh no, not again. He's going to ruin another unicorn. Yeah. We had a visit from Wing, Clevin here, slow time in Hollenbach's engines. Just so they remembered who he was, the boys the tower, all engines fed us. Oh, call hey. me one engine hey, Clevin. Hey, hey. One engine Clevin? Sound is the grave. Beautiful. I want to do that all my life. I'll drink to that. <laughs> no engine Clevin. No one engine Clevin. No engine, yeah. engine Clevin. Yeah, there you go. Hey. No. Oh, fuck. Whiskey as well. Who are you? Bubbles. Oh, wait, they didn't drink it. Okay, fine. It's straight. Y you're Buck, and he's Bucky. Here we go again. No, just a shortage of crews. Pity. You'd have more if you flew your missions at night. Why did you have to go and say something like that? You know what that means? I don't know what that What does that mean? Oh. Let's make a bit of sport ourselves. You guys notice? Buck is very quiet, and Buck is the one that is attacking that's an excellent idea <laughs> oh here we go uh oh hey hey please uh, i want this guy please let him i spoke too soon i spoke too soon i spoke too soon oh he's a he's a sweet guy he recently had the class i'm just saying there you go <laughs> now what all right time to show them what we're made of Absolutely. oh so now why does this sport interest Boxing? Mm-hmm. Test the manhood. That's but he was so calm! <laughs> I, didn't... I didn't expect this to happen. How'd you end up commander of a plane leading a squadron in a war where you don't want to be on the losing side and still not like team sports? <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that's a felt that, right? Maybe Bucky actually... No, Bucky isn't going to fight. I got this thing for you, sure. and it ain't boxing! <laughs> Well, that was a quick one. Okay. The Americans pursued daylight precision bombing, an effort to destroy specific military or economic targets. The British, who have been at war with the Nazis for nearly four years, practiced nighttime area bombing. Oh, what? Oh, that's messed up. Which was more effective, depending on which... Is that right? They used to write on the bombs? There is only one reason the Americans could even attempt something as difficult and dangerous as precision bombing. The Norden bomb site. Outside the atomic bomb, it was the most closely held secret of the war. The rest of the base worked tirelessly to get the flight plans, equipment, and planes ready. And even though they remained at the base, in a way, they were on every flight with us and would not relax until we came home. The hundreds will be leading the wing on today's mission. <laughs> hey. Major Egan will be the wing's command pilot in Blakely Sport, and the target for today is the submarine pens in Trondheim, Norway. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys did this on purpose. Also, why is it always Trondheim? <laughs> we have a problem, Major. <laughs> what? Bubbles. Like it is if you're watching this. Now I understand what you mean. Uh, the hell you can. <sighs> Who do we have? Oh, I understand what you mean. We assembled a squadron at 2,000 feet over Splasher 6 at H plus 0, 112. You following me? Here you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be nervous. Cross, take this. My lucky snow globe. I want it back. Come on, guys. Morning. Douglas. Harry Crosby. Ah, oh, like big. Yeah. Hey, you sing? They kicked me out of choir. Oh my. Here we go, guys. Off to Norway we go. If this is your first time here, I'm Norwegian, part Norwegian, part Dominican. 
I'm not from Trondheim. <laughs> 90, 100. Oh, come on. You know what? The air sickness has nothing on you. You got this. You okay? Yes, uh, it's my first time in the lead. Yeah, well, I've seen bubbles do it a million times. Can't be that hard. Ready to clean this thing? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Let's go. All right, let's go. Where'd you want it? They clean it with fire. Okay. What do you say? Fire in the hole! That's how you clean a hard stand. It's one hot bastard. <laughs> oh wow. What a transition. 30 minutes to target. Bumping here to command pilot. I'm gonna pull the fuse pins. Roger. This is so weird to see actually. These things did happen. Are you gonna throw up? <clears throat> oh my gosh. I understand him though. Our command pilot to tail. How we looking back there? Well, nature depends who you're asking about. Fox elements in a V, but the rest of them look like an S if you ask me. They're all over the place. Pilot to navigator, new heading. <laughs> Crosby. Wake up, Lieutenant. In the helmet. Turn right to heading 017. Oh, great, you're sick. Only a first. It goes away. Just don't tell anyone. Just put your mask on and read the damn map. Come on. That's gonna fly everywhere, isn't it? Oh, we have seen this happen before. Command pilot to navigator. How we doing, Crosby? Yeah, good, sir. Just doing some calculations, Major. There you are. Right turn now to 075 degrees. You can see the crap smoke screen. Protect us! I read all about this. All the crew! But it's weird when people... Visualize it, you know? Watch the crew! Five, two, three, it's last level! Oh. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh. He's good, he's good. <laughs> oh no. I've got mixture of throttle. Here's the clinic. Getting been hit. You okay? Jesus Christ, yeah! Just protecting the goods, Quads. Trondheim. Pilot to top turret. How's Biddick looking? Stop the pilot. He's been hit on the starboard side. You guys need to save us. We need help. They have taken us. Yeah, engine force not looking too happy. Go to max continuous power. Let's get the boost pumps on. All right, let's warm them up with the intercoolers. Let's see if that helps. Oh, how do you get? We tried everything out. Red meat three has two engines down, and they might lose another. Let's slow her down to one third. It helps to have friends in high places. Huh, Dick? <laughs> Say that again. Just give me a minute. All right. Uh... I was wondering if you were using the wrong helmet. Pause, what? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm no. okay. I'm okay. Fuss alarm. Crosby, I need that plan. Ugh. On it! Hit by his own puke. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> that way, if Fiddick has to put her down, at least he's all land. Alright, that's the plan. Sounds good. Let's go to 2 4 you 88 10 o'clock, level! Oh my lord. We don't have the time, we're already hit! We vomit and the engine's down. Oh, that was close. Top third to pilot. I'm stressed out. All right, let's make that turn to 244. We'll stick with you as long as we can. Over. We can't keep this up. The curtain is men will be dead if we don't. We're not leaving them behind. Are we over scouting yet? Uh, yeah, 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 yes, we are, sir. We're approaching the coast now. Zoot suit leads to zoot suit. We're over scouting. Let's drop the Devil's Four and uh, see if we can get Red Meat Three on the ground. Out. Devil's Four? We're losing number three. Getting close to stall speed. We're headed down now for an emergency landing. While at the crew, we have to crash landing. But they're still over water. 
Left gear down. Tail gear down. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're too low, too low. Pilot, the roof, brace yourself. Be careful, impact. I really hope no one was here. Really, really hope no one was in there. I mean, I wasn't that bad, right? That went well. You did that, Crosby. I mean, the flak, it came in so hot. I didn't even think about it when I put it on. It must have froze. But then these chunks, they start rolling down my forehead. I think... Ew. Yeah, of course, you would narrate your own death. I could make overthinking into an Olympic sport. <laughs> I've been puking so much today, I'm starting to catch up to you. You know, I washed my hair twice, I still can't get the smell out. <laughs> How you doing, Bubbles? Never better, sir. That's good. I was looking for you. I'm sorry, Major. I'm four. What's four? Give PRs the whole flight back, and I messed up the wrong day. I know. Anyway. Harden, he couldn't be more impressed by you. I'm transferring you to Blakely's crew full time. And Cross, we gotta give you an actual nickname. They call him Bang back home. Unless you can sing. Can you sing? You go kick that away, choir. You know, I had it to do over again. I wouldn't even try to be a pilot. Be a radio man. Nothing to think about but the frequency. Well, thanks. Right. You hold on to it for now. Working well for you. Oh, it's to bring good luck. Uh, nope. Seems to have forgotten. P.S. Say hi to Bubbles for me. I know what your favorite part is. How she signs him. Mrs. Jean Crosby. You still can't get over that, can you? <laughs> Rest up. Thanks for coming. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. That is adorable. Cross, we found your job. Where is he? He can sing here. You know what this is missing? Cross, he needs Vocals. to sing. Vocals. Cross. I'm gonna sing. No, it's Cross's job. Jack. Jack. No. No, he's going to break a unicorn. Should I sing? No. Ah, right, you're right. You're right. Ah. Oh, he's going. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Never saw the sun shining so bright when you're in love. My how they fly. You know what? I think the buck should sing. I've heard that he sounds like Elvis. They really ought to put her in some mass production. About the same amount of time it'll take you to get to the bar. Get us another round of drinks. You're on. Hey, is that you? Hurts. Hurts. But we're safe and sound here. Hey, hey, where, where am I? Where are you? Where am I? I'm the devil's dope, son. Ah. Uh, I love Scottish people. They sound so happy. It turns out that they don't like English much either. But they like me because I'm Irish. <laughs> I'm Irish. He's drunk. Thank you, Bucky. Thank both of you. Well, you just get back here soon, Kurt. Glad you're still with us. Hey, John says he misses his little spoon. Hey, I'm the big spoon here. Aww. I love them. I can make you laugh in under a minute. I can't laugh on you. Can you tell me something funny? What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? Well, one's really heavy, the other's a little lighter. What's your name? Douglas. James Douglas. Cross. That was actually so clever. Good, how are you? Hell of a shindig. So look, Cross, Logan's moving up to wing, so we're gonna need a new group navigator. I was wondering if you could recommend someone. That's more of an office job. Bubbles, who's in a pain, sir? He is great at all of it, but he's really good at planning. What about you? Me? Yeah. Ooh. Harry, do you mind if I call you Harry? No, no. You brought the group back home. Good. Alive. Snow globe. Who's there? Show me! Me too. Oh, well, he has to, right? Rank has its privileges, boys. I see money changing hands. I hope that's going on me. When you hear the starter pistol, go! Are you ready? <laughs> so, this is what you guys did for fun around here. Set for the shelters. Hurry it up. But we were being happy on our bikes. Some poor bastards are getting it handed to them. Yeah, we could be next. Well, we're getting through this. I'm gonna bet on anything. I'm gonna bet on us, buddy. You sound like my dad, John. I drank, he gambled.
Usually he'd lose, but he kept doing it. Problem. So I was looking for the shortcut. Buck. Uh, Buck. That's why you don't like sports. That RAF prick was right. These daylight missions are suicide. We lead our boys through it. We do. What? You know, I think we could do some real damage. Already over? You're probably thinking that's a lot of flying time over crowd territory. Hang on! Baby, baby! Get me out of here, please! We are gonna sit here and take it! You hear me? your horses that made me upset look at that i got a tear from watching just what we're going to watch oh i love this so much we don't have much to comment on it was episode two we're going straight into episode three right now i am so excited <laughs> oh my god this show is so good so far i have to say i really am an austin butler simp i find him amazing as an actor and i really just enjoy his role and when he was talking about his dad like i can't understand like how it must have felt for him because i can't relate at all the way he's a storyteller you really connect with it that's all i had to say so if he's ever to get a podcast let me know okay over to episode three put your head on my shoulder